personally, I know a lot of students uh, who went to get their bachelor's in a private school, and now they came out of 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 loans on, on their head, with, which they have to pay, and they don't have a job. How are they going to pay? They're working for $9 an hour and uh, 40 hours. It, they barely can support themselves rather than paying all that money. And when, when you graduate, your even interest rate keeps going up, and their monies keep piling up. And uh, it's stressful, it's depressing, and it shouldn't be that way. It, it just basically makes you plan your future and how you're going to pay it off, uh, what, what kind of uh, routes you're going to take to pay off. Um, it's just a scary feeling. If you have money, you do get to go to better school, but uh, we should look at uh, poor people and their uh, opportunities for education. It should be um, the job of, of the state, of the government, to provide education to everyone, irrespective of the money and irrespective of, of where they're from or who they are. I don't think this is going to put students off because if students are serious about their education, they'll go to college, uh, whether it's a community or whether it's a senior college. Um, they'll, you know, there are other opportunities, either loans, either scholarships. If your grades are good, you'll get scholarships. The government's here to help you, um, some way or the other. You know, um, if not, you get financial aid. They don't just have to react at one time. They just have to keep struggling and keep fighting against it because in the long run, uh, it is it is very hard to pay the tuition. For I come from a, a you know, fairly wealthy family, so I mean, I'm in a position where I'm able to afford that. Right. Um, I have a sweet mate who has to get help from relatives, mm. family, friends, um, who's gotten financial aid. So it really depends on your economic situation. Yeah, it depends a lot on your economic situation. Um, as a non-American student, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. So if you manage to pay it off, you get a sense of satisfaction, I guess. But if you don't, then it's a little bit of a problem because you get to drag this on for the rest of your life. So. Most Americans are grown up, are growing up thinking that they're going to pursue mm -hmm. a college degree. They're going to have to. That's something that you have to get in order to be successful. So it's assumed that that's something you're going to do. That you're going to have those, you know, burdens, but you're going yeah. to pay them off. It's kind of just a stepping stone in American culture. Great schools cost more than schools that are not as well known or not as reputable. Yeah. Um, so as a general rule of thumb, for the most part, yes, the more you pay, um, the better your education is. I mean, the prices here have been rising as well, so I think it's a global thing, not just in England. Yeah, but it's kind of like keeping people that can't get access to higher education down.